if, if Bias is fine and whatever, he's on that team, you and Mikhail now, like Mikhail has a hurt foot. Now like, all right, Kevin, take your time. You can, sure. we got Lynn Bias, sure. like, and you're not playing 43 minutes a game in May and June and stuff like that. Maybe you play until. Yeah. You know, Lynn, I played against Lynn Bias when he was a sophomore in, in college and he was incredible. See, Red used to bring all these. You, oh, like a college all-star thing? No, yeah. Red used to bring these guys into his camp, all the top players oh, around yeah. the country, in to work his camp. And yeah. at night we play. I come out there and we play. Yeah. I work his camp a little bit and mess around with him. That, that night we play. But he had Brad Darty and Lenny Bob. They don't do that anymore. Nobody can do that anymore. Yeah. But he got to see all these guys up close. And, but I do know if... if if somebody else took Lynn Bias number one, he was taking Brad Darty. I think that was Red's really number one guy. He loved Bias, but he couldn't pass up on a, a skilled big man. And Doherty was fantastic. Fantastic. And he was he, another guy. That he would have fit in short. great with any team, but he would have he would have done well with us. I just remember watching all those guys that year and thinking, meanwhile, it's the best Celtic team of all time playing at that moment, and then we have this pick, and it was like, my God, like. Celtics beat the Rockets in the finals. The draft's like 10 days away, right. and we're adding the second pick in the draft, and it just seemed like, all right, we didn't win like yeah, seven straight the, titles. I remember the night we <laughs> they traded Henderson um, when the layup line. They took him out of the layup line. We go back to the hotel. He's sitting in the bar. We all go up there, and you know, hey, sorry, Henny, and all that. He's like, oh, well, I'll get a chance to play all the time. Well, he's playing quite a bit for us. Yeah. Then when they had a bad year, we get the second pick in the draft. Now, I remember the, the um, when they started doing all the – you know, the draft, the not envelopes. the draft, but the envelopes yeah. and all that. Red sitting there looking up, no emotion, and it got down to uh, them and Cleveland, I think. Yeah. And uh, I just, I was sitting there going, well, Red's going to get the number one pick. That's just how much faith you had in the guy. Yeah. And I thought for sure, I didn't know who he was going to take because I never asked him, but I really believe he would have took Brad Darty. I actually agree with you because it was just, when you think about Doherty, Walton, Parrish, and McHale. He would have took him. It would have been embarrassing. I mean, just because, you know, that was in 86, he just knows that Bill might, you know, go out any time, um, get a little bit older, and, and bring another big man in there that's very skilled. So, But Lenny was one heck of a player. And, and Red might have been thinking, bring Lenny in here, and I want to play Larry so many minutes, too. But Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, when you think about the 80s and just luck and all the different variables, like, take Worthy off the Lakers from day one. Do they, they don't win five titles, I'm pretty sure. You know, and I think that's, that was the guy that would have extended everybody else's career. What, do you, what else, when you think about what ifs from the 80s, like, what, you had the lost title in 82, 87, the team kind of.